All right, Diablo 4 players, let's go over how we can get gold in Season 4, as it's a pretty big bottleneck for your progression, and a lot of people are kind of running out of gold. So, let's go ahead and go over all of the methods, starting right off with the ones without trading. Trading is by far the best, and uh, we'll get into that in a second. But first off, instead of salvaging all of your items, you could consider actually just selling them. Let's go ahead and check out how much gold I have right now. So we have 7.6 mil, and I'm going to go ahead and sell my stuff. Now, I will recommend you guys to do this first. So a lot of times towards the end game, you really only want greater affix things. So mousing over to see what things rolled greater affixes, maybe you want to save these. So if you want to save any of those things, go ahead and throw them in the stash, and then later you can go ahead and sell off everything. But another thing you want to do first is go to the blacksmith. Going to the blacksmith, and if you go to the blacksmith and just click on it, but don't click like salvage everything yet, you'll see that there is this little icon over here in the top right. It looks like kind of like two swords clashing. If you see this, uh, we have it on this one over here and this one. This means that if I salvage this, I will get that sort of uh, aspect unlocked. So if I salvage this, you'll see over on the top left. It's going to be fast though. So I'm going to go ahead and salvage this. And you'll see over on the top left, we've upgraded our aspect. So do that next. So the first thing is see if you actually want the item. Then the next step is to then salvage to get the new aspect if it's an aspect you want. But even if it's an aspect you don't want, you can actually trade legendaries as well as unique items and you're going to get way, way more gold by doing that. Now that does take a little bit more effort. It will actually be worth it, but at the end of the day, I get it. Some people like they don't like dealing with other people because it takes too much time, the person's AFK, whatever the case may be. So. If you do see a good uh, aspect that you may have, like let's say you have a perfect shared misery, maybe you can sell it to someone. Prices fluctuate all the time, so I'm not going to be mentioning like what every single thing is worth in this video. But again, we're at 7.6 mil, and if I go ahead and go to the little vendor over here, by the way, in this season, don't ever look at the vendor. They're never going to have anything good because they cannot have legendary items or unique ones. So we're at 7.6 mil, and if I just go ahead and sell everything, uh, you'll see that we get a decent amount of gold, and it's really not that bad. I mean, just a full inventory over here, that's basically a little bit over a mil in most circumstances. Now, if you have uniques, uniques actually sell for quite a bit. I have the stash tab over here. By the way, if any of you guys need certain items on my live stream, if I have extras, I always hook you guys up. But the unique items sell for a good amount. You'll see how much more that they sell for. Like this one sells for 270,000 um, over here. But I have a stash tab over here and uh, all of this, this is basically just giving away to you guys on the stream. And again, the best way to actually get items in the game is by trading. Now, if you're like, I really want to go ahead and get gold, the best way to actually get gold is actually to pick up items that are actually worth something. I'm going to link a video down below, and this is a video that goes over the items that you want to actually trade, because while we can spend like 10 minutes in the game and easily get about a little bit over like a 1.5 mil for just uh, our inventory in terms of just selling most of the things. Uh, if you go to any Diablo trading website, now there are tons, uh, and I'll let you guys know the names of them, but there are a lot of items that you can sell for like 10 mil relatively quick, and some of them may require a greater affix and stuff like that. So definitely check out this video. It goes over everything that you kind of want to save in order to actually uh, trade, because if you're listing a bunch of items that people don't want, they're not going to sell. There's lots of different websites. Um, you can go to Diablo.trade, there's the Crimson Market, there is Diablo.trade.gg, and if you look up on lots of different websites, you can just look up like Reddit Diablo 4 Trade or just good Diablo trade websites, but there are tons of them. I'm not going to recommend anyone in particular as the best way to actually get your value is to go to all of them and kind of check out what's available. Now, lots of different trade websites will have different like filters that you can go ahead and use. You can search for whatever equipment that you need. And this is a great way to actually save money because instead of re-rolling, you could just straight up buy the item because it could cost millions or you may not know what the cost will be if you keep on going for items. Now, another thing I want to go ahead and mention, for some reason on the, the trade website, you'll see that these are listed two hours ago. This is a rare item with four stats on it. Uh, they don't show off the legendary aspect in this, but this would be an item that is a legendary because, well, rare items cannot roll with this amount of stats. Do not buy rare items at all. In fact, no one will buy rare items, okay? I'm just letting you guys know. Unless it's on Eternal and you're buying legacy gear for billions of gold because there are certain items that you can never get, rare items are objectively just deleted out of the game. 
Um, some websites, just as a heads up, to kind of go over introduction to this, as this is the best way to actually get gold. Another way, real quick though, that you'll see some content creators say, oh, just do whispers. Well, whispers don't upgrade glyph XP. Uh, they're objectively going to be done anyways, because you're going to be doing the hell tide. And once you do some of these events, I mean, these events are basically free. So you'll basically get the hell tides anyways for free. But by far, the best place to get gold is to find a good item, know what people want. And you can see that, I mean, if you were to farm for like 10 minutes, and then let's say you get a full inventory in about 10 minutes, and you get about 1.5 million ish gold, um, you would get, uh, you know, a far significantly lower amount than if you were just to find one decent item and sell it for 10 million plus, right? So again, looking out for the items is pretty much the best way at the end of the day. And again, look at this video. I'm not going to make this video long because it this video is already long enough that it goes over uh, what items to actually sell in the game. But that's the best methods to actually uh, go ahead and actually get super rich in the game. Another video that I do want to recommend because it ties into this in terms of like re-rolling at the occultist always temper your items first there's another video that again i'm going to link because it's extensive you want to temper your items before you start re-rolling and doing anything else before you start socketing because you can brick your item at the tempering stage and at that point the item is useless and you must throw it away therefore you're saving your gold because there's no point of re-rolling an item if the temper isn't what you want and a lot of builds will require chance for it whatever skill to cast twice basically but there are other builds but you must get your tempering first before you start re-rolling and do any any of the other stuff so that is very important anyways that's gonna wrap things up hopefully this video it was fast and informative and you learned something new if you did drop a like on it if you're new hit subscribe to the bell for more diablo guides and more content I'll catch you guys in the next one peace out